We are here again and already onto part 3. How did that happen? We all love a controversial movie, something too disturbing for authorities to handle, to the point that an entire country has to ban distribution of the movie. Absolutely insane, right? Well, today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scary horror movies that are illegal, part 3. Before we begin, though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, let's jump in. Coming in at number 5. Possession. Directed by Andrzej Zulawiski and released in 1981, Possession follows the relationship between an international spy and his wife, who begins exhibiting increasingly disturbing behaviour after asking for a divorce. Possession is an international co-production between France and West Germany at the time, and was filmed in Berlin in 1980. The film went on to debut at the Cannes Film Festival where Ajani won the award for Best Actress for her performance. However, not all critics agree. Reviewing the movie after its screening at the San Francisco International Film Festival, Wayman Wong panned the movie as a sick and violent piece of trash. Savage. After an initial limited theatre release in the United Kingdom, the film was banned as one of the notorious video nasties, although it was later released uncut on VHS and DVD in 2000, 20 years after the film's initial release. Absolutely insane. In the years following its release, Possession has acquired a cult following, with folks deeming it, I quote, one of the most enigmatic and uncompromising horror movies in the history of cinema. I don't agree, but to each their own. Coming in at number 4, The Evil Dead. Directed by Sam Raimi and released in 1981, The Evil Dead tells the story of five friends who travel to a remote cabin in the woods, where they play a tape with incantations. This in turn releases the demons, which possess them in succession until one is left fighting for survival. Like all of the movies on our list, the release was met with controversy due to Raimi making the movie as gruesome as possible, with neither interest in nor fear of censorship, which led to the movie receiving an X rating and being named a video nasty. Films with this label were typically violent and disturbing and the rating was often held by pornographic and other X rated films. Of course, The Evil Dead is not pornographic, however it is considered to be one of the most violent movies of its time, with it even being dubbed number one nasty. The movie was banned in Germany, Iceland, Finland, Ukraine, Singapore and other countries upon its release. And it was also one of the very first films deemed a video nasty. The Evil Dead is one of the most notorious splatter films of of its day, along with some previous mentions including Cannibal Holocaust and I Spit on Your Grave. The film was and is still banned, either theatrically or on video in a lot of countries, which is insane, not a lot of people know that. Coming in at 3, A Clockwork Orange. Directed by the legendary Stanley Kubrick, one of my all time favourites and released in 1971, A Clockwork Orange follows Alex, a psychopathic delinquent who is imprisoned for murder and rape. In order to reduce his sentence though, he volunteers for an experimental therapy conducted by the government. But it goes askew. Now the film as a whole employs disturbing violent images to comment on psychiatry, juvenile delinquency, youth gangs and other social, political and economic subjects in a dystopian Britain. Now although the movie received critical acclaim and was nominated for several awards including an academy award, the movie was met with backlash and controversy. In the United States the movie was given an X rating resulting in the movie undergoing 30 seconds of sexually explicit cuts to obtain an R rating and have a re-release the following year. Because of the explicit sex and violence the National Catholic Office for Motion Pictures rated it C meaning condemned, a rating which forbade Roman Catholic seeing the film. Now although the movie was passed uncut for UK cinema in December 1971, British authorities considered the sexual violence in the movie to be too extreme, and during the trial of a 14 year old male accused of manslaughter of a classmate, the prosecutor referred to A Clockwork Orange, suggesting that the film had a macabre relevance to the case. The press also blamed the film for a rape in which the attackers sang Singing in the Rain, something that occurs in the movie. The film was ultimately withdrawn from British release in 1973. It was only after Kubrick died in 1999 that the film was theatrically re-released and made available for sale. Fun fact, it was actually filmed at my university. 
the more you know. Coming in at number 2, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Directed by Toby Hooper and released in 1974, this iconic horror movie would be banned all over the world almost immediately upon its release. The movie follows Sally, Franklin and their three friends who run out of gas while driving to their grandfather's house, and one by one they are tormented and killed by a chainsaw wielding killer and his psychopathic family. Now controversy began almost instantly with the film being marketed as being based on true events in order to attract a wide audience and to act as a subtle commentary on the era's political climate. It was reported that Hooper hoped that the MPAA would give the complete uncut release print a PG rating due to its minimal amount of visible gore. Instead, it was rated X, which was originally only assigned to pornos. However, after several cuts it received an R rating. After its initial release in Britain, the movie was banned on the advice of BBFC secretary Stephen Murphy. While the ban was enforced, the word chainsaw itself was also barred from movie titles, forcing imitators to rename their films. In San Francisco, cinema goers walked out of theatres in disgust, and in February 1976, two theatres in Ottawa, Canada were advised by local police to withdraw the film lest they face morality charges. By the end of its cinema run, the movie was effectively banned in the UK, Brazil, Australia, West Germany, Chile, Iceland, Ireland, Norway, Singapore and Sweden. However, that aside, as one of the first slasher films, it is credited with giving birth to a number of horror tropes and is by far one of the most influential horror movies of all time. And finally coming in at number 1, The Exorcist. Directed by William Friedkin and released in 1973, The Exorcist of course tells the tale of a young girl named Reagan who inadvertently summons the demon Pazuzu, who possesses the young girl and tortures her until an exorcism can be performed. The film was one of that years highest grossing movies, surprisingly, considering the controversy surrounding it. Audience members walked out, some fainted, vomited and others cried and screamed when the film was unleashed upon the world. To quote Newsweek on February 2nd, 1974, On December 26th, a movie called The Exorcist opened in theatres across the country and since then, all hell has broken loose. The movie grossed 1.9 million in its first week, setting house records in each theatre. Now, what initially caused some controversy was the angiography scene in which a needle is inserted into Reagan's neck and blood spurts out. A procedure Friken states was actually performed on camera, with many critics calling it a needless scene, and genuinely disturbing. The movie was released in London on March 14th, 1974 and was instantly met with protest around the UK by the nationwide Festival of Light, a Christian public action group concerned with the influence of media on society, in particular the young. The protests involved members of the local clergy and citizens handing out leaflets to those queuing to see the film, offering spiritual support for those who asked for it. Now, the film was available on home video in the early 80s, however due to the film's notoriety, young viewers began to seek it out of course, resulting in all copies being withdrawn from the UK in 1986, remaining unavailable for purchase until 1999, effectively banning the movie. Well there we have it, do you guys agree with that list? Were there any illegal horror movies that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part 4. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 5 scariest giant creatures from folklore. Lord Inquisitor Ignis said, I'm impressed with your pronunciation, Lucy. Thank you. It took a long, long, long time. Google saved me. Aeona Little Eagle said, My Dark Queen Lucifer, when you decide to finally take over Mother Earth, may I please put in an application to be your dark jester? Uh, sure, why not? I don't like comedy, but I like company, so by all means. Wild Rose 39 said, Hey Lucy, hope no more problems with nosebleeds. Keep safe and Merry Christmas. No, no, no nosebleeds after the great nosebleed of 2019. No more. Don Schultz said, Lucy is an amazing host, always interesting. Thank you, thank you very much. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.